I think already I discussed in class. Once again, let me put it <laughs> because usually we do many problems where object is at some distance. But here, what happened? We have the race incident. The incident race will subtain an angle with the principal axis here. So that is telling two degrees. Find the angle of convergence after reflection. Uh, this is very widely used in some instruments. Hmm? So what, what are these? These are incident rays. They're coming from from the distant object. And they subtend an angle. It's like a two degrees. This one. So he's asking find the angle of convergence after reflection. It's a convex mirror, no? So what convex mirror will do? Now look at this object. Is it a virtual or real? Real or virtual object? It's a virtual object. So what convex mirror will do? For virtual object, it will form a real image. So therefore, the rays will converge here. I'll draw the. I'll try to draw the, draw the diagram. Get into this one here. And there's an incident tree. This is called theta one. Hmm? These angles. After reflection, I I, um, I think it, it should be. Uh, now no, this will be center of curvature. I, I think uh, you you better go for one normal if you're getting confusion. So this will be the normal. No? Then what do you expect? So this is the object position. So after angle of incidence should be called angle of reflection. So therefore the rays. Will diverge. I will say converge at this particular point. So here also you can bring one normal. R rough diagram. There's a ray two, there's a ray one. Find the angle of convergence. What do you mean by angle of convergence? He has given the distance pi by eighteen. I'll write it. Just one more. Let me call y. Okay, use formula. So tan. We know y and theta one. So we know object distance. So I think it is. This will be very close. Almost what you measure. Call this y. So the, this distance, <laughs> either you measure from p or or this one will be same. So calculate this is this is x one. This is x two. So from theta one and y, you calculate x one. I and you know focal length. From focal length, you'll get x two. From x two and y, you are going to get this delta. So tan theta one should be equal to y by x one. From this, what happens? I'll get the value of x one. Then I'll use the mirror formula: one by x two plus 
equal to 1 by f. Now, why this should be positive? Why this should be positive? So, x1 is object distance. It is this is the direction of incident tree. So, we know focal length. So, we you know x1. So, we'll get x2. After getting x2, then again go for tan delta. Delta is equal to y by x2. Pi is given for us. Y will be pi by 18. X2 negative, no, sir. Ah, x2 will be negative. Huh? Yeah. X1 I'll get from here. So what about the theta? Theta, what you write <coughs> will be very small, no? That will be. So convert that into radian and write it. Huh? Don't write in that way here. So the, the, these angles will be very small. So convert into radian. Similarly, what you calculate the y by x2 will get delta. I think that the, the mathematics is what you should take it. And these are in radian. Huh? Degrees are there, convert into radian and substitute here. So theta 1 is 180 degrees pi radians. So 180 degrees is equal to pi radian. 2 degrees, how much? Theta 1, radian. So like this, what will happen? From degree, you have to convert into radian. So that you substitute here, you'll get the value of x1. Then, then again, you substitute here, you'll get the radian. From radian, again, convert that into degrees. That delta you have to show in degrees. Okay, the, the, this is the incident ray. This is a reflected ray. Please go through some numericals of these kind of, which will be very useful. And also the routine one, if I give object, image, and that one. Okay, I'll just send them, you work out these things. So tomorrow we'll work out a few more problems with angulation and other things. Okay, I'll 